Okay, let's continue where we left off last meeting, the aromatic ring structures. Many organic compounds contain rings of carbon atoms or other atoms such as oxygen or nitrogen. The simplest ring compound contains three carbons as in cyclopropane. The most common ring compounds contain either five or six carbons. These compounds are also called cyclic. So aromatic ring structures is a ring structure that is a cyclic compound that is hydrocarbon in which the carbon chain joins to itself in a ring and has atoms of at least two different elements as member of its rings. Okay? So that's how a aromatic ring structures look like. Okay? Now, aromatic rings, or also known as aromatic compounds or arenes, are hydrocarbons which contain benzene or some other related ring structure. Benzene C6H6 is often drawn as a ring of six carbon atoms with alternating double bands and single bands. Now, let's talk about cation pi. Cation pi interactions are common in biological systems, and many structural studies have revealed the aromatic box as a common motif. With the aim of understanding the nature of the aromatic box, several computational methods were evaluated for their ability to reproduce experimental cation pi binding energies. The binding of benzene to a number of different cations, sodium, potassium, ammonium, tetramethyl ammonium and guanidinium was studied. Okay? The cation pi interaction is a stabilizing electrostatic interaction of a cation with a polarizable pi electron cloud of an aromatic ring. Six carbon aromatic rings occur in the side chain of three of the 20 standard amino acids, namely phenylalanine, tryptophan, and tyrosine. Okay, let's move on to steric interaction. What is steric interactions in organic chemistry? The steric effect is when atoms composing molecules occupy some degree of space, and when atoms come too close together, there is a rise in the energy of the molecule due to the atoms being forced to occupy the same physical space. Now, let's talk about the steric effects. What are steric effects? Steric effects are the effects seen in molecules that come from the fact that atoms occupy space. When atoms are put close to each other, this costs energy. The electrons near the atoms want to stay away from each other. This can change the way molecules want to react. It can also change the shape or conformation of the molecule. The amount of space that a group of atoms takes is called the steric bulk. An example of steric effects is steric hindrance. This is when a large group of molecules makes reactions not work. Okay? This mainly talks about energy. So always remember our equation in energy or entropy. Okay? Steric hindrance. Now, what is steric hindrance? It is the slowing of chemical reactions due to the steric bulk. It is usually manifested in intermolecular reaction, whereas discussion of steric effects often focus on intramolecular interactions. Now, hydrophobic interactions. What is that? Hydrophobic interactions mean? Okay, it is to describe the relations between water and hydrophobes. When you say hydrophobes, it is afraid of water. Okay. It doesn't like water or it is water heating. Okay? It is a low water soluble molecule. Hydrophobes are nonpolar molecules and usually have a long chain of carbons that do not interact with water molecules. The mixing of fat and water is a good example of these particular interactions. The hydrophobic effect, on the other hand, describes the energetic preference of nonpolar molecular surfaces to interact with the other nonpolar molecular surface and thereby to displace water molecules from the interacting surfaces. The hydrophobic effect is due to both enthalpic and entropic effects. So this is where thermodynamics comes in. Okay. One way to identify the hydrophobic effect 
is by employing an empirical term dependent on the surface area buried upon binding. So we are going to use this equation. And of course, we are talking about energy. We are going to use our equation in internal energy or enthalpy as well as the entropy. So this is our equation here. Okay? Internal energy as well as, well as entropy and Helmholtz, that is E as A, is equal to the summation of sigma I times uh, the change in entropy times the Helmholtz free energy. Okay? The buried surface area may be defined from the molecular or connelly surface or the solvent accessible surface. The coefficients or the sigma are dependent on the surface area definition and on the atom type. The coefficients can be assigned according to the polarity of the atoms with polar atoms having opposite sign coefficients to nonpolar atoms. Okay? Now, we have finished talking about the hydrophobic interactions. Now, let us talk about the hydrophilic interactions or the water loving. Okay? They are possible with polar chemical group. Water is polar because oxygen is far more electronegative than hydrogen. Then, and thus, the electrons involved in an oxygen-hydrogen bond spend more time in proximity to the oxygen atom. Okay? We already um, explained the hydrogen bond on our last topic. Okay? What causes the hydrophobic interactions? Okay? American chemist Walter Kozman discovered that nonpolar substances like fat molecules tend to clump up together rather than distributing itself in a water medium because this allows the fat molecules to have minimal contact with water. Okay, this image indicates that we, when the hydrophobes come together, they will have less contact with water. They interact with a total of 16 water molecules before they come together and only 10 atoms after they interact. Okay, you can see in the picture, there is a hydrophobe molecule, then water molecule is attached around it. Okay. And then they interact with 16 water molecule before they come together. And now there is only 10 atoms after they interact. Okay, now let's talk about the thermodynamics of hydrophobic interactions. When a hydrophobe is dropped in an aqueous medium, hydrogen bonds between water molecules will be broken to make room for the hydrophobe. However, water molecules do not react with hydrophobe. This is considered an endothermic reaction because when bonds are broken, heat is put into the system. Water molecules that are distorted by the presence of the hydrophobe will make new hydrogen bonds. And from an ice-like cage structure called a clathrate cage around the hydrophobe, this orientation makes the system hydrophobe more structured with the decrease of the total entropy of the system. Therefore, the change in entropy is less than zero, okay? Now, we, we are still using this formula naman for hydrophobic interactions. This change in Gibbs and free energy is equal to change in entropy minus temperature times change in entropy, okay? With a small unknown value of change in internal energy, and the large negative value of change in entropy, the value of change in Gibbs will turn out to be positive. A positive change in Gibbs free energy indicates that the mixing of the hydrophobe and water molecules is not spontaneous. Okay? Okay, now, formation of hydrophobic interactions. The mixing hydrophobes and water molecules is not spontaneous. However, hydrophobic interactions between hydrophobes are spontaneous. When hydrophobes come together and interact with each other, enthalpy increases. Thus, our change in internal energy is positive because some of hydrogen bonds that form the clathrate cage will be broken. Tearing down a portion of the clathrate cage will cause the entropy to increase. That means the change in entropy is 
positive since forming it decreases the entropy. Okay, according to the first equation, the change in internal energy is a small positive value, while the change in entropy is a large positive value. Okay, that results to the change in Gibbs free energy that is negative and hence hydrophobic interactions are spontaneous. Okay, remember that ah, we have already talked how to determine spontaneous reactions to non-spontaneous reactions, diba? If you have already forgotten that, go back to our topic in entropy, okay? So that's it for our unfinished chapter last week. Thank you for listening and I hope you have learned and gained something from this discussion, okay?